The subject of cremation has many questioning their consciences on what to do when they die. With the insane costs of funerals and the financial burden it places on families, many are opting for cremation. But is cremation biblical? We're going to take an honest look in this video, so stick around. Hello, I'm Dustin with Revealing the Wolf. Why does cremation have such a negative vibe associated with it? In the Bible, to be burned by fire was most of the time resulting from committing an abominable sin. When you burn something, it is deemed to be eternally destroyed. There's no going back from fire. So it was considered a curse to be burnt. It's been said that the Hebrews did not practice cremation, but this isn't entirely true, although it was quite rare. There's an instance in the Bible I want to share with you. It's when the Israelites were fighting the Philistines and they killed Saul and his sons. They took their bodies and savagely cut their heads off and hung their corpses on a wall to glorify themselves and their gods. Now when the inhabitants of Jabesh Gilead heard what the Philistines had done to Saul, all the valiant men arose and traveled all night, and took the body of Saul and the bodies of his sons from the wall of Beth Shan, and they came to Jabesh and burned them there. Then they took their bones and buried them under the Tamarisk tree at Jabesh, and fasted seven days. Like I said, this was a scarce instance, but it still existed in some circumstances. You have to realize that many of God's people have been slain and burned in war. Millions of martyrs in the Dark Ages were burned alive at the stake by pagan and papal Rome. God can and will resurrect those people, you can be sure of it. These bodies that we live in are loners, for our citizenship is in heaven, from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly body that it may be conformed to His glorious body. When Christ returns to resurrect the dead, this transformation will immediately take place. But it's only for those who are preserved in the Book of Life. Anyone not found written in the Book of Life was cast into the lake of fire. You see, everyone who has ever lived will be resurrected, but there are two resurrections. You want to be sure you're a part of the first one, because blessed and holy is he who has part in the first resurrection. Over such, the second death has no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with Him a thousand years. As long as you're part of the elect, you have nothing to worry about. You could be burned to ashes or ground to powder and scattered throughout the entire galaxy, but nothing can stop our God from raising you up. You need to focus your energy on making sure that you're found written in the Book of Life by following the example of Christ. And it also pays to understand your Bible so that you can rest easy with your decisions. This channel is all about simplifying the Bible to unlock its tremendous vault of treasure. If you like this kind of content, I hope you'll consider subscribing. In conclusion, cremation or burial is totally up to you. There is nothing in the Bible that condemns it. It's really a decision that needs to be made with your family. If someone isn't alright with burning you, consider their feelings towards the matter. And if you wanted buried, but your family burned you, you won't be mad because there is no work or device or knowledge or wisdom in the grave where you are going. Much of this simple knowledge has been forgotten, watered down, or made complicated when it doesn't have to be. I hope this has answered your question and aroused a few more towards some additional topics. Feel free to leave any comments down below. Thanks for watching.